well, 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 we meet again. Can you believe this is the 45th episode of 15 Minutes with Fuzz? I can. <laughs> I was just wondering if you could too. Hi, my name is Fuzz Martin. Thank you for tuning in to 15 Minutes with Fuzz. This week, we take the show to the southeastern corner of Washington County to speak with the Germantown Chamber of Commerce, Joletta Kirpin and Lynn Gergich. Join me to talk about the chamber, some great things going on in Germantown, and the upcoming chamber golf outing at Washington County Golf Course, which is happening on Thursday, June 23rd. So let's get right into it. Here are 15 minutes on the Germantown Chamber of Commerce with Joletta Kirpin and Lynn Gergich on 15 Minutes with Fuzz. Lynn and Joletta, thank you for joining me today. So you're both joining me from the Germantown Chamber of Commerce. How is the state of commerce in Germantown these days? Oh, we think it's going very well. Um, we're very excited. There's the expansion of businesses on the Holy Hill Corridor. We have a lot of new small businesses joining the chamber and popping up in the community. We just recently had a ribbon cutting for one of our newest small businesses, the Vault Putt Supplies, which okay. is right on Main Street in Germantown. And also with the bounce back grant mm -hmm. that is going on. We got to meet a lot of new businesses that were qualifying for the grant because they were going into previously unused space in Germantown. Sure. So we got to see that growth up close and personal. Yeah. A lot of the chambers have been working with small businesses to get them to take advantage of that grant, right? Yes. So can you give us a little bit of details, listeners, a little bit of details on, on what that grant is specifically? Basically, it's looking to get previously unused space, mm -hmm. you know, new with new business. And what we do is we just basically sign off that we see, you know, they're signed a lease, they're mm -hmm. a business, and um, we get to meet those people and uh, wish them well. And oh, hopefully excellent. they join the chamber as well. Yeah, very good. Very <laughs> good. Uh, so let's talk about the Chamber of Commerce in Germantown for a bit. How many businesses does the chamber support? We have 190 members right now. For the size of Germantown, I think people are surprised by mm -hmm. that number. But we all have a goal of 220. Okay. So <laughs> I think that's very possible. But yeah, right now, 190 is where we're been pretty steady. So getting to that 220 number and providing value to the businesses in Germantown, what ways does the chamber support local business? I think the main way that we bring value to business is just providing opportunities. So we put different things out there for networking, promoting their business through our website, our Facebook page, LinkedIn. But again, it's that giving them that opportunity to connect to other businesses, other community organizations, mm -hmm. um, even to the different municipal departments. You know, we feel like we're trying to bring them together where they might not have that opportunity or it's not as easily to come by. Sure. You don't often know who the right person to talk to is when you are, I mean, starting a business is hard. Yeah. Uh, but then finding all the things you need a permit or you need a question on, on something related to what you're allowed to do in, in the village or community. So how do chambers like the Germantown Chamber of Commerce support a healthy community? For, I think our purpose is um, bringing awareness. We're kind of a, a hub okay. of awareness between the business community to the school district, mm -hmm. through the business community to community organizations and businesses to even the municipal entities. So even though a business owner might not be a resident in Germantown, they still have a say or should have, you know, some input as to what's happening in the community. And I think sometimes they forget that or they're not cognizant of it because they don't live here. Sure. But the village does need to hear from businesses what they are looking for, what they need. Mm -hmm. So that they can be strong and healthy, and then that kind of filters down to other facets in the community. And then the job of the chamber is to support them and, and allow them to be able to do that. Right. Make those connections, get word out. Everybody is just so busy. Mm -hmm. And to put something, you, it has to be right in front of you mm -hmm. and the right timing that it's what you need at that time. So we try to be there for that, or even to make them understand that you know, this is important. This is why it's important. And this is how it will affect you. And I think that's the key 
how's it going to affect you? <laughs> and that, you know, if you want some say in that, this is the opportunity. Great. Now, as a chamber, you guys have a lot of events that help with networking, getting people to know some of the new businesses or some even the existing businesses and the services that they offer. What kind of events does the Germantown Chamber of Commerce typically do? I would say for businesses, mostly our networking. So okay. that's bringing together other businesses. And both of us, we have two networking monthly breakfasts that we do with surrounding area chambers. Mm -hmm. So it's not just Germantown. One is with the Menominee Falls Sussex Chamber. Another is with the other Washington County Chambers. So Germantown, Hartford, and West Bend. So we're kind of broadening the reach of sure. those events. Some of our different events, like our golf outing, our manufacturing career expo, the Christmas festival, all of those are just different opportunities for businesses to take advantage of for different reasons and different ways. Mm -hmm. Not everything works for every business, but giving a wide variety of things. Hopefully we've hit upon something that would be something for everyone. Yeah. And I think those relationships that you develop in chamber meetings will help you then. Like if you are a business and you, you know, there's, there are a number of banks that happen to be in chambers and uh, knowing when it's time that you need a loan or you're looking for a new building or whatever that might be, they have a connection already made and not have to go out and, and establish that as a, is great. And then vice versa, if you're a bank, you know, like connected to all the different businesses that may need loans. Someday. Right. So Lynn, your role is the executive director at the chamber. What does your role entail? I think being the a point person, someone that they know, you know, Lynn from the chamber and that connector, mm -hmm. kind of being in touch or aware of what's going on with the village, municipal, being aware of what's going on with the school district and other organizations in the community. And there is so much. I can't do it alone. Fortunately, mm -hmm. with Joletta in the office, she's a great conduit for information mm -hmm. as well. But being that resource, kind of a central organizer, administrator, and then, you know, just kind of making those connections. Great. So what kinds of things are you seeing happening in Germantown in the community right now? Right now, we're very excited. You know, summer's coming. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of events going on. One of the biggest things is the Germantown 4th of July that is getting revamped this year by a new Celebrate Germantown committee. So we're looking for Great things going on there, the parade, the festivities in the park, and the fireworks. And also, there's just so much going on with music at the pavilion. There's concerts in the park. We have Taste of Germantown. So this summer is going to be busy. Sure. So we're really looking forward to that. Yeah, that's great. It's it's good to look forward to things again. It's, <laughs> it feels good to be yeah. able to say, hey, let's go to this thing <laughs> that's not our basement or our living room. Now, the annual Germantown Chamber of Commerce golf outing is almost here. Tell us about the event and when and where it's taking place this year. This year, we're going, we are very excited to be at Washington County Golf Course. I believe it's their 25th anniversary this year. Nice. Uh, we'll be there Thursday, June 23rd. The We have a 10 a.m. shotgun start. And just really excited. One of the things with the past couple of years, we never canceled our golf outing. Okay. So it's just... A great opportunity. It's always a fun day. Knock on wood. It'll be beautiful <laughs> weather. So we're really excited about it. Uh, chamber golf outings are a lot of fun. There's always, <laughs> you know, different things going on. Do you have any special prizes or anything special happening in any of the holes this year? One of the great things is there's a tea sponsorship. So okay. each business that does a tea sponsorship gets to kind of be master of their own domain on mm -hmm. the tea. And we look forward to every year what they're going to bring. Some of their ideas are just hysterical <laughs> and great. And just the networking that comes with it, the fun that they can do raffles, they do giveaways, you know, everyone loves free food and just, you know, the tchotchkes and stuff. So that's a great way to network and meet every golfer. We highly recommend businesses take advantage of that sponsorship. Can individuals still sign up for the golf hunting? Absolutely. Okay. They can sign up until June 10th. June 10th. Okay. So we welcome all golfers. We welcome the community. It's mm -hmm. not just for the chamber. Community members can come, bring a friend. You know, everyone can network about everything. It's not just business. It's sure. You're meeting someone who might live down the road from it. You're meeting someone that, oh, our kids play against each other in mm -hmm. a sport. There's plenty of opportunities for fun. Great. How many golfers are you expecting this year? 
This year we're hoping for a hundred. Okay. Um, we will see, you know, sure. it, with the way the world has worked, yep. people tend to be very last minute with their signups, <laughs> so, which stresses event planners out sure. pretty bad, um, but we're looking for, you know, hundred or more. How many box lunches do we need? Uh, can't tell you until later. Um, I totally understand how that goes. Do you need to golf to participate in the event? No, you don't. Okay. So if you do a tea sponsorship, you don't have to golf. We have volunteer sign up. That is also a free, great way to meet almost all the golfers. And, you know, sponsorships, just being there for dinner. Mm -hmm. You can do a dinner only type thing. Okay. Yeah, there's many ways you can be a part of it. Did I see Billy Sims is doing dinner? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Billy Sims barbecue is delicious. If you haven't had it, get it. Um, and okay. you can always golf and take it to go. In fact, now I think I know what I'm doing for lunch today. <laughs> Billy Sims and then a nap. No, I don't have time for that. Um, so this year's event is sponsored by Grace Commons. What can you tell us about Grace Commons? Uh, Grace Commons is a senior community center headquartered by Capri Communities. We have the Gables of Germantown is also Capri's and Grace Commons is just over the line in Menominee Falls. They are using this event to help promote awareness of their facility they even get some of their residents to golf in Fun. our event, which is, you know, we love having them. And they are just utilizing this event for, you know, its purpose, to bring awareness to their community, mm -hmm. their business, and we're trying to promote the heck out of them with our right. event. <laughs> so, sounds great. Yes. What will the funds raise from the Germantown Golf Outing support? Actually, the operations of the chamber. Okay. So, the funds from this, our major fundraiser, just help us support businesses mm -hmm. to do what we need to do every day. In addition to membership dues, the golf outing, and then we have a couple of events that bring in lesser amounts. But it seems chambers and golf outings kind of are have always been a yes. thing. <laughs> Although uh, golf has changed a little bit as the business acumen has changed a mm -hmm. little bit. Timing is difficult, but... It's still the best fundraiser that we have. People have fun at it. It's a friendly competition. Mm -hmm. We do really appreciate all the support we get from this event because, like I said, it helps us do what we need to do to support our members. If someone wants to learn more about the Germantown Chamber of Commerce golf outing, where can they go? They can come to the Chamber website. We've got a lot of information on the event page there. Give us a call at the office or stop in. We'd be glad to talk to anyone about the individual sponsorships, what exactly that does for them. Sure. And like I said, we know not everything fits every business, so mm -hmm. we can kind of get down to the nitty gritty on what's the best fit. Sounds good. What is your website URL? GermantownChamber.org. Very good. Let's make a final plea then. So why should a local business join the Germantown Chamber of Commerce? It's a great way to get yourself connected to the community, to not only businesses, but other municipal, school district, community organizations. We're a great resource and it will just help you kind of ease into maybe some of the things away from the business part of mm -hmm. it, you know, helping promote your business. We try to make it very easy for you. And if someone would like to join, how do they start the process? You can go on the website. There's an online application. You can complete a PDF if you're more comfortable doing that. We accept credit cards for um, dues payments or stop in the office. We'd be glad to help you out there also. Very good. Lynn and Joletta, thanks again for joining me today and have fun at the golf outing. Thank you. We will. <laughs> <laughs> thanks again to Lynn Gergich and Joletta Kirpin for Joining me on this week's episode of 15 Minutes with Fuzz, be sure to sign up for the Germantown Chamber of Commerce golf outing on Thursday, June 23rd at the Washington County Golf Course. A beautiful course, a whole lot of fun, and harder to lose your ball when there are less trees, fewer trees. Speaking of Washington County, if you know of positive things happening in the area that I should know about, drop me a line and let me know. My email address, 15withfuzz at gmail.com. That's 15 spelled out if you type in the number 15. Nobody will get it, or maybe someone will, but I highly doubt there's another fuzz out there doing a 15 minutes thing. Again, 15withfuzz at gmail.com. You can also visit 15withfuzz.com and click contact. Thanks again for listening. Have a great week, and we will talk to you again next Monday right here on 15 Minutes with Fuzz. Fuzz.